What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mark your Realtor, and I'm coming to you live on this Hot Fire Fridays episode, The Ocho. Where's all my dodgeball fans at? Well, today I wanna talk to you about what is a rent back agreement. If you're a seller looking to sell your home in order to purchase your next dream home, then you definitely wanna pay attention to this video. Now, what a rent back agreement is, is exactly what its name implies. It's a written agreement between the sellers and the buyers, which allows the seller to rent the home back for a short period of time once the transaction has closed. Now, during this agreement, there's a couple things that need to be sorted out between both sides of the transaction. You need to decide how long you're gonna rent the property back as a seller. Keep in mind, most lenders will only allow up to a 60 day term from when the home has closed. Also, the amount of rent that's gonna be collected and any security deposit or any cleaning deposit that's gonna be collected up front as well needs to be agreed upon. Now, this is a written legal binding agreement that is included in the purchase agreement of that property. Now, once these items are agreed upon, then the buyer continues the process of purchasing the home. Now on the closing date, the buyer still becomes the official homeowner and gains possession of the home, essentially becoming the home's landlord and the seller now becomes the home's tenant. Now you may be asking yourself, what is the benefit in doing a rent back agreement? Well, for the seller, the benefit is pretty obvious. It gives you more time to find your next dream home. It allows you to focus on completing this transaction of selling your home and then focusing on finding that right home that's best for you and your family. It also allows you to ensure that the sale of your home is completed, especially if those funds or that money from the sale of the home is needed to purchase that next home. And the peace of mind of knowing that you're not gonna have to move multiple times during a transaction now, what's the benefit for the buyer? Well, the benefit for the buyer is the same thing. It gives you a little bit extra time to make that smooth transition from your current living situation to your new dream home. Also, you have a possibility of recuperating some of those expensive closing costs because you may be able to make a little bit of rental income depending on what the price was for you allowing the seller to stay in that home. Also, by you being able to accommodate the seller's request, your offer may have been that much stronger than your competition who needed to move into the house right away. Well, I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching. Remember, please like, subscribe, and share. And as always, I'm stepping your real estate game up one Friday at a time. Peace out, y'all.